I think K-pop fans are some of the most well-rounded people on Earth since there's literally nothing they can't do. That's also why when surfing social media, we can easily capture some huge celebrities with a whole different look, especially with their hair. For example, like Blinks. They can turn all the princesses of YG into some handsome dudes in just a few Photoshop moves. Though the gender is switched, I bet that you will still find them incredibly attractive. And for anti-fans, I think you must now admit that the beauty of Blackpink is truly authentic, since, as you can see, they will forever look dope despite being a male or female. Now let's take a look at Lisa. In Blackpink, the dancing machine has always been famous for her uniquely cool and chic vibe. Also, because of this, I'm not very surprised to see that swag aura is even more visible when she was photoshopped into a boy. As we all know, since Lisa is quite slim, her face structure is visibly sharp. For this reason, the editor didn't need to make any considerable changes to her face shape or to her high nose bridge and plump lips. Actually, all that he did was to make Lisa's eyebrows darker and denser. Personally, I think the editor has done an excellent job of choosing the eyebrow shape for Lisa. This shape is quite similar to that of Chris Wu, favored by many people around the world, especially in China, and it fits Lisa's face perfectly. Besides the fact that her hair was cut short, the hair on top of her head was also made to be thicker. I believe the editor here has some knowledge of anatomy since the changes made to Lisa's face were relatively small. Still, they were all the crucial features of a boy's face. Oh, and there's another thing I want to talk about here. Do you find the male version of Lisa familiar? If you're a fan of GOT7 like me, I believe you will immediately recognize Jackson's vibes somewhere here. I mean, like, look at this. Can you see what I mean? The only difference is that Jackson's face is a bit, just a bit longer, and his lips are not as plump as those of Lisa. That's all. Another fun fact is, when Blackpink was featured in Weekly Idol for the first time, Hyungdon said that Lisa's personality reminded him a lot of Jackson. What a coincidence, right? And this is another male version of Lisa. You know who I'm thinking about when looking at this picture? It's Bam Bam Got 7. At this point, I find it kind of weird to mention so many Got 7s members. Anyway, back to the point. I think I should clarify why I'm thinking about Bam Bam. You can take a look here. Can you see what I mean? This Lisa's male version has a face structure similar to that of Bam Bam. Her jawbone was augmented to look a bit larger and more defined. In this picture, since she's wearing contact lenses, the editor made her irises smaller to resemble the natural, strong, and manly vibe of a boy. Her eyelashes were also trimmed to lessen the girliness. Only her eyebrows were thickened to emphasize the sharp vibe. I'm not an expert at Photoshop, but after these two photos, I learned that males will have darker skin tone and thicker eyebrows than females. Similar to Lisa, even when Jenny was turned into a boy, she couldn't hide her inherent cuteness. Her signature chubby cheeks and round-shaped face made her look like a good, studious boy at school. I don't know why, but Jenny has the vibe of Kai in XO. Like, I'm not saying this because Jenny used to date Kai, but look at this. I'm not joking. Though Jenny looked pretty much like a good boy in the first picture, when her hairstyle was changed, the second male version of hers was definitely a playboy. Like, you know, the Asian boy who's always playing basketball and has tons of girls behind him? That's what I feel when looking at this picture. I hope you have no hard feelings about my comments, but I think Jisoo has the manliest and the most mature male version of all the girls. I'm not sure if it was the beard that made her more grown up than the others, but like, one thing you should know is that not everyone can grow a beard. Some just look straight up like a kid trying to be a man. Since Jisoo's face shape is already sharp and edgy, the editor made no changes to her face structure. I think what I've learned about male and female differences in skin tone and eyebrows is now confirmed because, as you can see, like the pictures of Lisa and Jenny, Jisoo's eyebrows were thickened, eyelashes were trimmed, and skin tone was also made darker. The only difference here was that Jisoo's signature heart-shaped lips were made thinner to lessen the girly vibe. Though the first picture of hers looks quite like a gentleman with a flying business career, the second one gave out a completely different vibe. Like, you can see the dirt on Jisoo's face and immediately smell the aura of a gangster somewhere. Who can resist this look, honestly? Different from the other three members, Rosé's male version possessed the look of a European boy. The blonde slide-back hairstyle and the dreamy vibe in the eyes also prove that this is definitely a boy that walks straight out of an 80s music video. I think that Rosé's male version was the youngest out of the three members based on the face shape, eye structure, and especially the bright skin tone. Do you think the same? Oh, and another thing that I noticed about Rosé's male version, especially in the first picture, was that her eyebrows weren't made thicker and longer. 
Besides, her blush and lipstick color were literally kept the same, making this boy look like he's slightly drunk. Anyway, regardless of what I just commented, I definitely have no problem with being in a relationship with any of them. This series of Blackpink's Photoshop pics is yet to be complete. Jisoo, Jenny, and Rosé got their new bangs. While Jenny and Rosé gave out the cute and energetic vibe, Jisoo somehow emitted an elegant and delicate aura. I think the reason may be that since Jisoo has all the soft facial features that are quite signature of the Korean, she would still emit the same girly vibe. Besides, Jisoo's overload of exquisiteness was also the first thing that impressed Jenny. Even Jenny once said that she had never thought YG would have such a graceful and soft girl like Jisoo. Most surprisingly, may be the magnet of Blackpink. Lisa's renowned bangs that barely moved during Blackpink's performances were removed under the magical hands of some editors. Like, the editors had no hesitation to get rid of Lisa's bangs, showing off the forehead that she just wanted to hide. I mean, looking at these, I just don't know why she has never thought of showing off her flawless forehead. Without the bangs, Lisa becomes a modern girl with an inherent fashionable style. Whether it's punk, posh, retro, or casual, she could pull them all off. So are you surprised by the male versions of Blackpink, or do you just find them quite similar to their actual persona? And what do you think about Blackpink's new hairstyles? If you want to be updated with some more weirdly intriguing videos like this, don't forget to subscribe!